Hello, my loves. Welcome back. It's me, Jess, of the Hobby Life Apothecary and now Queen Bee Homestead. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I've been having a delightfully quiet day. Um, to be honest with you, I feel like I've been very, 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 very energetically sensitive lately which kind of happens for me. So I always need to really check in. This is why like my own personal rituals and routines are so important because it allows me to decipher, is this my energy? Is this someone else's energy? Is this the energy of the world? Is there something specific that I should be feeling, that I should be doing? Should I be doing a reading for someone? Should I disconnect from the world for a little bit? And for the last 24 hours, I want to say, the last 24 hours has really been me disconnecting from the world and reconnecting with myself. And I did actually, so maybe actually now I think about it, maybe it was longer than 24 hours. It's been like 48 hours. So I want to hear if you guys feel the same way lately if you've been feeling it there has been a lot coming up with the Jupiter Neptune conjunction and also we have this full moon happening in the sign of Libra actually tomorrow which I'm high key very excited for I have a fire pit in my backyard that I like to use to burn intentions to burn bad energies or things that I'm trying to release so that my energy personally never gets stagnant. You guys know I do a lot of um, energy work. I do a lot of readings. I do a lot of spiritual healing. And if I'm not careful and if I'm not balanced, that can really mess me up, you know? So very curious how you guys have been feeling lately. I've been spending a lot of my personal time, like I said, you know, allowing myself to sit in the quiet, really just allowing myself to sit in the quiet. And, you know, luckily for me, I was able to discover things that create balance in my life, especially as a spiritual being, you know, we, we do a lot, we pick up a lot as we move through the world. But at the end of the day, we're human beings, right? So we have to have some level of balance or else things can get a little wobbly or things can get a little wonky. And as a spiritual being and as an empath, as a sensitive, as a gifted person, there are going to be days that are unprovoked, they're not triggered by anything, that come outside of your human experience it's so beyond us where we just pick up on energy or we're picking up on something we're feeling something and it's so important for us to again just not decide but decipher where is this coming from because it can really make you feel if you're not careful or if you're not aware it can make you feel crazy it can make you feel like it's of you when you're when it's not you so today is one of those days where I've been feeling really good lately. Well, just channeling, just doing what I do and um, a quiet day. And I, as I was just sitting and literally in the nothingness, like in the noiselessness, I heard spirit, this call from spirit to be like, okay, Jess, share a message shuffle the cards, pull. We have something that we want to say. We have something that we would love you for you to deliver. And that's what I'm here with, here to do today. So I know that I'm pulling cards right now because you see me doing that. But at the same time, I want you guys to take a deep breath. And I want you to focus on trust. 
the word trust. Trusting in your ancestors, trusting in your guides, trusting in angels, trusting in God, trusting in your higher self right now. And from that powerful word, trust, I want you to draw around you a big protective bubble. And nothing can get through you, through to you, through this bubble. And you can trust this bubble. You can reinforce this bubble. This bubble is yours to build, to create, to pop, you know, whenever you need to, whenever you feel like you need to. And your ancestors and your guides, your whole spiritual team is there to protect this bubble. And I'm wondering what color this bubble is for you. What color does it come through for you? I don't have any ex expectations or judgment on the color of this bubble, but what color does does show up for you? And I just want you to remember that. And while you're in this protective bubble and while you're focusing on the word trust, what message do you need to hear if any message at all at this time that we're spending together. It's an honor for me to channel and to connect with the energies in the way that I do and the way that we can. So whatever spirit wants to give to you right now, what messages that they want you to receive. Allow yourself to trust which ones are yours which ones belong to you, which ones don't, and trust your own steps moving forward. You know, now that you have been guided, now that you received. Okay. So spirit guides, I do want to thank you for being here with us now and allowing us to channel messages or allowing me to channel messages for the collective. Um, let's see, what are we, what am I feeling? Okay. First things first, I'm getting um, a, like a city or a town, a city or a town that's covered with water. Um, this is coming across like a burial ground. Something about, um, I feel like I've, or a lake. It kind of is giving me lake. I forget what that place is. That's the first thing that's coming through. Um, I'm, I'm hearing the word uncovered. I'm seeing something happening. Uh, like a, It's like a secret or something happening, um, being hidden. Something that you have to do some, or something that someone else has to do. It's like, I, I don't feel like this is the easy, I don't know why someone's saying like they're not taking the easy way out with this. It's something that they have to do. It's something that they have to do, but they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to share it. They don't feel like, they feel like if they speak on this, it'll be like a, a dark mark on them. They're wondering if they can do it themselves. Like they're, you're wondering if you can do it. Do I even have what it takes to do this? There's something like, I have to do this. Or something that was done that... It's interesting because something wants to be covered up here. Something wants to be covered. If this is something that was already done, it's something that was done a long time ago that you're wanting it to be, whoever did this, they want to keep it covered. But now that it's so long ago, uncovering it was actually a good thing, right? If this is now in the present, it feels like, Whatever this person is doing, they feel like un they they have to do something and they don't want it to be uncovered. In the grand scheme of things, I get a feeling that it's not actually so bad. It's something that 
society. Now that I think about it, it's the Hierophant here. The Hierophant card is here. Society, maybe this is a, even though I'm looking at it, there's this cow skull. So it might have to do with something being sacrificed. Something, so, and when I say cow skull, it's funny because, um, the, the cow is actually one of my animal totems. And, but the, the symbolism behind it is of the cow is abundance. It's something that you have to do or that you have to invest or that you have to give or perform or something in order to gain something of greater or to maintain or to protect or to preserve. And maybe in today's times, in today's society, this is something that, I don't know why I'm hearing the word, it may be deemed inappropriate. Because, I don't know, it's like, it's this question of should or shouldn't. Should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? Should I be the one to do this? These, these, um... I, I don't, I, I had a word that came through and I just, I just lost it. So spirit is just saying someone or someone here has to do something that deviates from the normal that they may not be the most proud of, or they may not vocalize it. They may not share it, but they have to do it. There might be something that has to get paid off, especially with the cow head here. It's like a sacrifice. So it might be the last of something like it could be the last paint I don't know it just feels like something someone doesn't want to talk loudly about or share it doesn't feel I I, I I'm impartial when I do readings I don't see good or bad I just see someone's like if I'm doing a reading for someone I can see that they're being malicious or shady I don't I can't I don't have it in me when I'm doing a reading to choose sides, I just can see why someone is doing something. I don't have any judgment towards it. I just see the truth. And I feel that with this card. I feel like there's something, maybe someone has to do something in order to get something that they want and they just don't broadcast it out. Especially if this is in the present now. If this is something that is from the past or in the social media or in the news, this is something that has to do with history about a city that is underwater, a city that was pushed underwater or something that was covered over. Like over time, like just, and it was intentional. And maybe back in the day, it, it was something that it's like a person can get away with, but now you couldn't get away with that. That's not appropriate. That's I don't know why I'm hearing the word finagle, like there might be someone, a system, like someone who's in a, a position of power or someone who has an advantage over others can get away with certain things. And now in today's time, they can't. If this is happening in today's time, this person is going to be uncovered for their, the, the, the truth is going to be uncovered. And what they've been holding on to is their reputation, their money, their resources, generational wealth, whatever the case is. That's going to be sacrificed. It's something that someone is not proud to talk about. This might be someone who discovers something about their lineage where they find out about an ancestor that I heard marksmen, like something about marks, like there's a mark on them or a marksman. They're, they're known for something. They're known for something. I don't like. And it's something that they learn about their history. They learn about their the past, but they don't talk so proudly about it now. Spirit is not talking about that. Spirit, what else is coming through with the higher font here? Yeah, I understand that with the Hierophant, you know, people talk about marriage, which is true, and rules and government, and it's something, sure, like, we can bring that in, but I just don't see it as that. I see it as something someone did or has to do 
that they want to keep this covered up. And if it has been covered up in the past, if this is something that was already done in the past, it's going to be uncovered soon. I heard truthfully speaking. I heard, I just heard that truthfully speaking. It's like someone's going to say something or the, the tale is going to be told. Um, I'm also getting a connection to the ancestors. They're moving, spirit is moving me to talk about ancestors. Um, what about it? I feel like, um, it's like something being strong, like something being strong on a, on a, it's like something that they string to like past times or it could be shelling peas. It's so, so specific. It's something like little tiny bits that you pull off or you, you put on. It's very like quiet. Some of you guys, um, your ancestors are coming through and they're trying to remind you of where you came from. They're saying, they're saying truth be told, you know, back in my day, like literally it's this energy of, Back in my day or when I was your age, you know, we didn't have this. It's like the, you know, it's, it seems kind of, um, I'm going to put my sweater on. I don't know, my temperature is starting to change as I'm channeling. Um, so there seems to be, it's like they want to remind, okay, permission, permission slip or permission, give you permission. So there's something that you are doing or you are called to do right now, or that will be helpful to you right now, and this is a very specific message for someone, that it seems very dry, it seems very monotonous, it seems like there's a million other things that you should be doing, but something about shelling peas or doing this tiny detailing work is something like back in the day when your ancestor used to do this, it was something that you, you had to do in order to take care of yourself, in order to feed, put food on the table, and in today's time, everything is so fast, everything's so microwavable. So the ancestors are talking about how things have changed over time, how things have changed over time, and to go back to the root, go back to how it once was done. Um, I don't know why, but I'm seeing someone watching from the house, watching from the home, kind of watching through a different lens. So they might be sitting on a porch or something, watching the world pass by. Someone's really needing to get away, deviate from their normal routine. So for that reason, if you do end up getting away, taking a trip or a vacation, you might go to a spot. I can really see you guys going to a spot where you learn about a, a legacy. You learn about the good and both the bad of a place and a time and a place. Things are so different now. And it's meant to show you how far we've come as in humanity, how far we've come in as a collective. And the truth, truth be told. Okay, yeah. So the truth needs to be told. The truth needs to be he heard. And the ancestors, those who have come, they haven't forgotten what has happened to them. They haven't forgotten their story. They haven't forgotten their legacy. So truth be told, keep telling the story, keep telling. Um, and now I'm hearing the word marksman. So it's like someone being marked for something or some, some you being marked for something or something, maybe something's going to be dug up or uncovered still. I'm also getting like digging, like maybe even in a coal situation or something in the earth and you're unearthing it, pulling it up. If this is not actually a vacation or someone getting away or revisiting ancestors or their lineage, their legacy, this is something in someone's life that is being unearthed. It's the truth will be told. The truth will be revealed. And I believe, period. So spirit is like, I believe. Like, what did you believe this entire time? And there's this, um, I don't know why I feel like I'm emotional. It feels like. Someone needs to, maybe it's someone you, like you guys need to hear something. It's like this feeling that someone's been holding on to. It, and now I'm kind of having to revisit again the city underwater. It's like there's a whole thing, like a whole major thing, a whole life, a whole world under all of this water. And we're not, or under all of this earth and we're never going to talk about it. 
Like you're, you're going to never talk about it really. Like there's so much that needs to be said and I'm being called back to the cow, the sacrifice. So much that needs to be unburdened. So much that needs to be revealed. The truth needs to be told. I believe. I don't know why I keep. I just spirit keeps saying that. I believe. I believe. Period. I believe. This is something that's going to. This other person, if you are going to hear from someone, and I know this sounds so cliche, you guys, but this is not a truth that you can force out of a person. Some things, some people have this mentality of like some things are better left unsaid and that's not the truth. They're realizing that it is actually for their greatest higher and greatest good that they say these things this is giving me very much divine masculine energy or this is feminine energy that has to that has been forced into be masculine to be masculine so this is a feminine presence that has that is not it's not their natural state of being but they wouldn't even know they only know how to quote unquote be strong. They only know how to have calloused hands. They only know how to have a a closed off heart. And when they try to open their heart up to the world or when they try to open their heart up to someone or speak something that makes them sensitive and vulnerable, they, they, they're doing it in their way, but it still feels a little calloused. I mean, there's improvement there, but I keep hearing spirits saying, some things are better left unsaid. It's this this belief system that they had. This this belief system that they had. Or if they have it now, it's going to come literally crashing down. Franklin, honey. Come here. Franklin, please. Bring it. He's so cute when he walks. No. Come here, puppies. No barking. Mommy's doing a reading. There's nothing out there right now. He's like, girl, how are you going to tell me? <laughs> Shh. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Okay, guys, I'm back. You distracted me, bubba. Yeah, I feel like this cow is going to be this big ultimate sacrifice. This big fucking sacrifice. I'm hearing, um, yo, it's it's like someone saying like, yeah, I did, like I don't know why they're saying this, like, yo, I didn't know any better, like. They say it in their way. But what they're trying to say is, <laughs> they're trying to say a whole lot, like, but they're never gonna be able to find the words to say this, and I understand, but, it's like. They're trying to say I didn't have the tools and the resources in order to, um provide to you like, essentially like what it is that you deserve I wasn't I heard I just heard the word I wasn't capable I'm sorry guys that this is such a vivid message but I'm seeing the sacrifice it's like someone who knows that they have to sacrifice something and their hands are shaking so you can actually make a situation worse because you just don't have the gall, like the gall, I don't know, or the, the the power within you or the internal strength. And it's because you're actually very, very vulnerable or they're very, very vulnerable. So something needs to be done here. Something needs to be said. Something needs to be uncovered, revealed, or taken care of. I'm going to just work on opening this up spirit guides from the highest lights of the universe give strength to those who need it now give steady hands to those that need it now open the heart open the minds open the energy to those that need it now create a breakthrough where there was a wall create a way or a path where there was no way
We invite in healing now. That's me, knucklehead. <laughs> Franklin, no, it was me. All right, now that I'm looking at it, we have King of Pentacles here and Queen of Swords. This is the same person. Or this is a person who is in a marriage, in a union, and they, the King of Pentacles is getting pulled by this Queen of Swords type of energy. So the King of Pentacles cannot speak in the way that would be Um, I'm, I feel like the King of Pentacles is being silenced by Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be, but it could be the, the Queen of Swords is someone who says like their wisdom, their logic is like Trump's intuition, Trump's rational, rationality, um, something that needs to be done, something that needs to be taken care of, something that needs to be handled. I don't know why I'm hearing the word caressed, but it's like the something that is held and is precious to this person or to you or something that needs to come from this person. And because they're just, there's this violent strike against them when it comes to their emotions or they don't, they're trying to avoid this violent strike. I literally am seeing the king of pentacles go into that shell place and just kind of like hide out so instead of speaking up instead of making action instead of making a move instead of saying what needs to be said they kind of are they close off and they're expecting this blow and they literally kind of carry the whole world on their on their back their shoulders of the things that is that they need to say that they can't say even still, the Queen of Swords here, if this is a person, then they're under the influence of the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords is silenced in some way. I'm seeing all these heads on the, on the, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's all these heads that are on these posts in the back and it goes to show, you know, I actually long, not too long ago, well, <laughs> This was like four years ago, but it feels like yesterday. I was told to go to my altar and bring bring the heads of the people, you know, speaking of sacrifices, right? But um, bring the heads of the people that hurt me, especially masculine energies. And not in the way that my guide was going to crush those people and inflict pain or punishment on them, but in a way that would help free me from the baggage that I was carrying. And this is giving me that for this, for those that need to receive this message now. This is giving me to bring me the heads of the people. And literally, you guys, this is a whole ritual and don't try, I can't share my rituals and stuff with the, with the world, the internet, because a lot of people don't understand. Or if I, if they don't understand, they don't ask the questions. So they make an assumption and they run with it. And then they're, a could be offended. B don't know what they're doing. You know, C just like using it in the wrong way. I mean, there's just so many different things. And we wonder why spiritual, genuine spiritual people and intuitives don't want to show up on the internet anymore because you're going to hurt yourself. Meaning like whoever we share the messages to, you guys are not, there's people who just are not informing themselves. They just want to run and do damage. And it's just, it does have a lasting impact. Anyways, so I'm not going to go into the details of what bring me their heads means, but it wasn't actually a physical head. Um, so I'm just sharing to you what it is that I'm seeing, what it is that I'm sensing, and what spirit will allow me to say. There's this, there's this sacrifice. There's the bring me the problem, bring me the 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 situation, bring me. You know, like bring it, bring it. And as I'm saying that, I have the Hierophant here. Again, I'm looking at the cow head. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I also have cow heads in my, not actual cow heads. Um, that's the other thing too. Like we always have to censor ourselves on the internet, but that's a topic for another video. Um, they're not actual physical cow heads, but I have them around my house because that's my animal totem and it protects me. It also reminds me of, of 
of things that it's meant to remind me of. And when I say bring the heads, that's the first thing that stands out here is there's something that needs to be given, a sacrifice that needs to be given, something that needs to be laid. And as I'm saying that, then I want to move on to the next cards, the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. There's something, the Page of Pentacles is the offering of the head. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about and this message doesn't resonate with you, then this message is not going to be for you. I'm not here to force anything. I'm telling you the vision, the message, the vibe, and this is what it is. And I don't mean to come across like I'm cold-blooded right now or I don't want to include people. It's just, it's not for everybody. If you're able to practice hoodoo, voodoo, and you get it, then then you get it. If you don't and you don't understand what I'm saying, then this might not be you or maybe you can, you know, tune in and listen. It's it's totally up to you. It's fine. As I'm saying that to you, I even have the seven powers. Intention oil. But this is the offering of, and I'm not, that's the other thing too, quick disclaimer, uh, quick disclosure. I'm not saying to go out and sacrifice an animal, you know, if that's not a part of your practice. And I'm not doing that. I'm just reading. I'm reading right now, guys. So page of pentacles is the offering of the head. It's something that needs to, I feel like someone has experienced a major blockage here by something that, you know, some things are better left unsaid. So that was their mentality. That was how they move. That's how they maneuver. That's what they believed. And because it was their belief system and act as a major curse or a major blessing depending on how they looked at it and now they have a, a a better understanding of how them not sacrificing the weight of this the 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 weight of this the the weight of this conversation the truth that needs to be told is what has stopped them or stopped you from progressing and moving forward and p the page of pentacles is honestly as as far as i see it it's the offering Jizu, as I'm actually saying that, it's like this girl, I've never really seen this card this way, but it's this person who's leading these two animals. And like, where is she taking them to? Like, she might be taking them to the altar space. Um, But it's literally there because fate and karma and destiny, it's like, okay, we have to sacrifice this. We have to, you know, give this up. We have to relinquish this. We have to let it go. Now, this could be an actual sacrifice of something that you're cutting off that's been holding you back and and doing uh severe damage to your own emotional mental spirit like process or this could be someone who can no longer hold on to the truth needs to be told is essentially what i'm saying and hearing and feeling here or there will be some level i'm surprised the justice card isn't here but there will be some some level of justice in getting what you rightfully deserve based upon what when they tell the truth or when all the facts are put out it's like okay well oh my god my little chickies oh they're so cute guys my hen you guys know i have the homestead she legit just had baby chicks sorry they're like running really fast um she hatched them herself and the baby chicks are just trailing behind her just learning and living it's very cute and it's so funny because it was like a white and a black one it's like perfect perfect balance and anyways um oh goodness let's move on to this i want to talk to you guys about this i don't know what this is <laughs> i say that i would look that's the sword spirit talk to me Talk to me about the Seven of Swords. I feel the Page of Swords. But talk to me about the Seven of Swords. It's the, it's literally the truth. It's a sacrifice. It's something that needs to be given. Three of Pentacles is the collaboration. It's the... Okay, interestingly enough... Okay, wow. Interestingly enough, what I'm getting from Three of Pentacles is I'm seeing... <laughs> So I'm hearing to each their own, but when spirit tells me it, it's like they're scoffing. Or this this is actually like ancestors or someone. This is very human. Like someone who passed on or this is someone who's been watching this situation from the spiritual realms. It's very like 
Someone that you, you yourself have prayed to, you've talked to about this situation, you've talked about this, this thing or this problem, and they're very human. They're not so, and the angels, I love them, don't get me wrong, but, um, so, sorry guys, I got distracted. I'm realizing that the mother hen is chasing the other baby hens away from the tiny, her babies. She's trying to protect them. Anyways. Um, well, actually, now that I'm saying that, that's what this is. So there's, there's this, this energy that you've been going to, to protect you. And they're kind of scoffing at the situation. They're scoffing at, you know, someone saying to each their own. And it's like, I'm also, I'm, they're kind of scoffing. They're saying to thy own, thy own, thine own self be true. So there's something about you getting what is true you getting what you are rightfully deserved you getting what you need to hear what you need to know i'm also hearing this person did this they they uh, i keep hearing marksmen they made they had this mark in order to have an advantage they they marked themselves as this or they were marked for this so that they could have an advantage and it's very unfair and now that time has passed and now that this has happened, now it's like, okay, now we need to speak the truth. And I feel like with the three of pentacles, which I was trying to tell you is that they, they, they're not angels that you were talking to. It was like an ancestor or a guide. They're scoffing at the situation and they're like, okay, well now they're hearing, like they said, like if they're, there's like habitual, like it's habitual. They're literally using that word hip, habitual. Like there's a habit of prayers. There's a habit of you coming to them, which is fine. There was, they're saying it was an assortment. There's assortment of things that could go wrong is, or things that did go wrong. Um, and I feel like there's more than one. Like this could be someone like around this person, around the situation, like friends that are like, kind of enabling the bad behavior if this is a, a government thing or a government cover-up or something going on with secrets this is like the the community or the establishment that helped to cover up something really bad something really awful something really like I'm gonna say it feels awful because it feels like it's like a, a difficult time in history that's tough for us to look at or something that's difficult for us to accept. But there is people that contributed to this. This could be, again, friends, family that enabled it. You start finding out, let's say if this has to do with like a breakup, it's like you find out that, um, you know, a mother figure or father figure or this, I don't see it as siblings, but maybe they're just talking sh like they're not talking really nicely about the situation. So that stops this person from, from speaking up because they don't have a lot of support. But finally, they're starting to have this call to action that's like, shit, I need to say something like I need to do something. The truth needs to be told. The truth needs to be shared. I I have to. Yeah, eight of wands, four of pentacles, and this is it. This is them saying it. This is what they were saying, what they've been holding on to, what they, the secret, this, this is what I've been holding on to. This is what I've been needing to say. It's in their belly. It's in their gut. It's, it's maybe it made them look good, but internally it didn't make them feel good. It didn't make them feel good about themselves. They tried and they failed. And now they're realizing, is it too late for me to to tell the truth? Is it too late for me to uncover this? Is it too late for me to reveal it? Is there anything more that needs to come from this spirit? They're kind of like tickling the situation. They're, they're reminding me of <laughs> a mother hen and her chicks, but that's just for me. Just, just talking about synchronicities, or maybe it could be for you guys too, but selfishly, I, I just... Sometimes the things that we hold on to hurt us more, you know, for then us just kind of letting it go and having shame and expressing our guilt or express, expressing our, our feelings. And we think that, you know, we could, oh, with time, we think that with time, it'll get better over time. And it just doesn't. It just doesn't. And we find that 
things just don't work out because we haven't gained peace with what already happened. And that's what needs to be sacrificed here. That need, That's what needs to be put on the altar. That's what needs to be put on the table. And this is not something that you can force out of another person. It has to come from them wanting to willingly give it. Yeah. Page of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. <laughs> what I see here is someone who has been holding their breath for a really long time. <laughs> it's not funny. But someone holding their breath for a really long time or exhaling and finally they're like, <gasps> like finally they're like, Whoa! like just this like, <sighs> like I got that out. Like I said it like. And it's like, okay, now, now we can move forward. Now I will meet you. Now we can have, I don't know why specifically, now we can have a cup of tea. I'm also seeing someone creating a tea, a tea business. Some of you guys might, this sacrifice has to do with your nine to five. And it's time for you to just do what you fucking love. But everybody just keeps telling you like, you have to do what's right. You have to, you have children. You know, you have a house, you have responsibilities, you owe us this. And like every time they speak their rational ass truth, which is there to protect you, you just go right back into your hidey hole. <laughs> I get it, but it, it does more harm than good to hold on to the safety. It does more harm than good to do. It's not, it's hurting you. Like it genuinely hurts to hold And maybe for a lot of you guys, maybe you have businesses that you've been developing or you have something in the works that you've been holding on to, but you can't let it, you haven't been able to release it because you feel like, you know, now's not my time. Or if I release this now, like, it's just going to make me look bad or I, you know, and it's just like, really sit with your ancestors. They keep saying this habitual prayer, this habitual reasoning for why you won't do what you're called to do or why you won't say what you need to say. And it's like when you are, when it's time, it's time. There's just no beating around this. And I feel like with the two of cups, this could be a relationship. This could be reconciliation. This could be, I don't know why I'm here in communion with two things coming together, harmonizing together. And then all of this, could have been like, it's just like, I waited this entire time and I held on to this this entire time. But, and that's just honestly spirit showing it. It's not spirit. It's the divine. The divine says, you know, that's what life is about. It is very, I just had this conversation with one of my buddies, um, a really good friend of mine, a guy friend of mine for years. And he just texted me after we, you know, we got off the phone. We were on the phone for like an hour and um, he's one of my best friends. I can always call on him and he can always call on me. And one of the, the last, right after we got off the phone, he was just like, just life is so messy. Like life is so scary. And it's just like the experiences, you know, like it's just the experiences. The things that require of us, the conversations that we need to have, the things that we need to do, being vulnerable, facing mortality, you know, just like... <laughs> All these things. And it's like, yo, I didn't fucking ask to be here. <laughs> it's just our little humor that we have. But it's humor always comes from a place, you know. <laughs> I love him. Shout out to my buddy. You know who you are. Um, Two of pentacles reverse. Nine of pentacles reverse. Spirit, talk to me about this, please. I just heard again to thine own self be true. So this is about, again, you honoring who you are. Sorry, there's a fly in here. It's been in here all this morning. I literally cracked the door for like half a second. And um, a fly got in. Okay, so. Okay. <sighs> 
they're, t they're talking to me about the significance of the experience of just being here on earth, you know, and how valuable it is, but also how insignificant it is. And just really taking it moment by moment. A lot of us are too hard on ourselves. Nine of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles spirit speak to me about that. Oh, the devil. That just flipped right out. I think they're saying, well, not I think. There's this message here of being, and that's funny because I'm seeing a vision of Mardi Gras. It's being um, like a Mardi Gras parade. So there might've been something that happened during Mardi Gras, but literally this is just what I was about to say. Be really careful about what you take from people and what you're giving to people, but definitely what you're taking from people. I feel like something is not, I don't want to say poisoned, but it doesn't feel construct. It doesn't feel healthy. It doesn't feel like it's coming from a good place. Nine of Pentacles here is, Nine of Pentacles reverse here is um, not feeling like you have enough. Oh my God, this fly is just <laughs> like, girl, I got something to say too. That's really bothering me. Okay, um, Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's like, just being really careful about what you're taking on right now. This doesn't necessarily have to just be food, but it could be play. It could be fun, who you're hanging out with, the work that you're agreeing to take on. It You want to really assess within your, because again, sacrifice, you want to assess what is worth it here. Because if you're saying yes to everything, you're ultimately saying no to something. So you can't do it all. It's going to eventually eat away at your ability to grow this. So let's say you're, or maybe this has to do with a person, what the, this person's going to be dealing with. So um, maybe they had, like, let's say this has to do with a breakup. So after the breakup, they might have had like 15 partners, you know, and just drinking and everybody says yes to what they want to do you know, take that message however it resonates. Like, we're all adults here, I would hope. But everyone says yes, but it's like, you're, you, you're not, you think that you're that person, they think that they're finding what they like and what they've wanted, but then they just keep consuming it and too much, like, okay, what I heard is um, les les bon, like roulette, like letting the good times roll. It's like this just allowing things to just roll and keep, keeping it promiscuous, keeping it light, keeping it not heavy. And I don't know why, but I'm seeing like someone shooting a gun and turning it and like accidentally shooting themselves or something. Like it's like they hurt themselves by having a good time. And it's just like, well, why were you playing with that weapon? It's like, well, I thought, you know, it's just like, well, what did you think was going to happen? The devil card here. Like, what did you think was going to happen? You were ultimately going to hurt yourself. And I hope and I pray that this isn't actually that because I do actually get a chill. Ace of Wands reverse. I do get a chill like as I'm saying it, I hope. But I just feel like don't be, don't make a, a big mistake here, you guys, is essentially what's being said here. Don't, don't make a mistake. Don't make, I don't know why I want to say that. Don't make, don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. Like a simple mistake. And it has to do with, oh, I wasn't looking for anything serious. It's like, okay, well, you chasing, it feels very promiscuous. It feels very like, oh, I want to say light. Like, oh, it's it's lighthearted. They want to call it lighthearted, but the energy is heavy. It's coming from a space of emptiness, blockages. That's what I'm saying. Bring that shit to the table. And I keep saying the truth will be revealed. Or not, I keep saying, but Spirit keeps saying the truth will be revealed. All right, my loves, um, that's what I'm seeing and feeling for you. That's what spirit wanted us to hear and know. Let's see. Let's just do a wisdom of the Avalon Oracle message real quick. Ooh, what a weird ass reading, but it's been weird these last like five days. I don't know if you guys feel it. Look, wow. Wasp and fear. 
Yes, anger, retaliation, jealousy, and fear. This one wants to come out. The swan, transformation, trusting the psychic. So, disruption. Look, you guys had the tower card right up there. Something is definitely about to get fucked up. Like, I, I just genuinely feel that. Um... I don't feel like, if this is you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. If this is you and you've been doing dirt on people or being angry because someone made a boundary or someone said something. They, they, you know in your heart that they didn't do anything wrong. You know in your heart that you were the one who was wrong in this matter. You're about to get like, something's about, there's going to be like some type of retaliation. Like there's going to be something coming through. Like you're going to be the thing that's being sacrificed here. I'm just being honest with you. You can sense it. You can feel it. You will know. I don't know if I necessarily see this as, a, um, you know, someone getting jumped, like knock on wood. Like I feel this as just bad juju is going to be around that person. It's going to be something that they look 12 and 21. There's this like mirroring here, this mirroring action. Something is not balanced here. Like something has not been balanced. Something was unfairly taken away. Something was unfairly held on to when it's like a person who's like vulnerable and open about their feelings. And then you have someone who's like playing around with them. Or let's say it's you know, God or the, the divine or your ancestors, you keep, you know, saying like, I don't like my job. I don't like this. I don't like this. And they keep giving you ideas. And now it's like, now you're going to have to face the music. Now we're going to have to disrupt you. Now we're going to have to create a, a roadblock or now we're going to have to intercept. Now we're going to have to do something. Because we want you to transform in the situation. We want the situation to transform. I have this other deck here that's just got released. Oracle of the Roses. All right, spirit. What a what a message. <laughs> okay, what do they need to hear before we sign off? And I'm going to go sage cleanse my energy and go check on the chickens, make sure that they're good. When it comes to what's being, wow, the rescuer. It's so funny because I feel like I was just asking too. I was like, when it comes to the sacrifice, talk to me about the sacrifice. And it's like someone who wants to come in and just scoop the cow off the, the, the sacrificing table. And I just genuinely, I just don't. Maybe there's a, a <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing promiscuous, the word promiscuous again. Um, but there's a reason why there's something being sacrificed here. There's a reason why something's being relinquished and given up here. What is this? The advocate. Yeah, this is someone who tries for change, advocates for change. Or sometimes it's things leading into what needs to be changed. I also feel like the rescuer and the advocate is calling out to your angels, your ancestors, your guides in order to help you. And they are going to advocate for you. They're going to support you. They're going to pull you up. The pioneer. They're going to pi they're going to put you and place you. They're going to pull you up and place you where you need to go. Someone once they sacrifice this thing when they put it out, pull it put it all out there, the truth gets revealed. Finally, we can go in a new direction. The father I think that has a lot to do with the ancestry. The father. Interesting. Yeah, this is a very specific message for someone. So let me know if it resonates. Is there anything else? I think that's it. I love that reading though. It was very clear. All right, my loves, um, the apothecary is now opened and it's a full restock of fixed candles 
and oils and sprays and protection soaks and all of the above. Also, I know that a lot of you guys are very, very excited about the body butters being released and they have been released. And then some of you guys are like, well, where are they? They're not, <laughs> they're not in the apothecary. There's two separate entity, like two separate websites now because it makes it so much easier and faster to ship out instead of people waiting. You know, because the way that the website platforms are set up, it's, I have to go through it one at a time. So having them separate just makes it so much easier. And also it's going to be nice to pass that on to my children. And I don't want to force, you know, my kids to be, you know, you know, witches or anything like that, or if they don't want to, if they don't want to work their magic, it's not something that I want to force on them. If they want to be Catholic or whatever else, they're totally allowed to do that. So I just want to give them something that they can have. And also it feels good for me to be able to pass it on. All right, my loves, I'm going to head off. I do feel like another reading is coming up. So I just feel it in my bones. I've been channeling a lot, a lot lately. And it's just because I'm spending so much time, you know, doing different things instead of just constantly making videos and stuff. Um, yeah, so let me know if there's something specific that you need to hear. I know that for the last um, few readings, a lot of people are like, you know, do like divine feminine and divine masculine readings, like updates and stuff like that. And I don't mind doing that at all. Um, so if that is something that you would like to see, please let me know down in the comments or if there's something that you have questions on, I'm more than happy to provide. Okay. Until then you guys, I'm sending you my love and then I'll see you in my next video.